What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Lothaxia. Welcome back today to Roblox. How are we doing everyone? Welcome back. Welcome back. Today it is time once again for some brand new Bee Swarm Simulator. And yes, we are back once again on the public test realm. We've got a little bit of unfinished business. Um, yeah, so basically... <laughs> Last episode wasn't quite ideal, 3, 2, 1, claim the hive, because just as I jumped on to make a video, I was hoping to spend like loads of time in the server, but I managed to pick the exact moment where on it was basically closing the server down. <laughs> So we didn't really get to see, like, as much stuff as we would have liked. And uh, the good news is, though, the server has gone back up. I think it was, like, yesterday it went back up. So you can jump in still and have a little look around. Um, and, yeah, I've been having so many tweets. Uh, so many people have been sending me screenshots. Thank you so much for that. Uh, I've got a few screenshots and stuff to share. As well as that, we are also going to try and summon the King crab no the coconut crab the king crab the coconut crab um because apparently there's a way we can do it so yeah i haven't done it yet but it's gonna be kind of cool and yeah i'm kind of thinking you know what let's see if we can do the coconut crab first things first oh yeah so just a really really quick one uh, i kind of just wanted to mention that we do actually have our very own team thanks see discord server uh, this one is it's kind of like a community thing and I thought uh, it's been a little while since I've mentioned it and because Bee Swarm is kicking off and stuff as well uh, It's just a really really cool part of like a place to go if you guys are interested in joining uh, to Sort of just hang out with other members of the community talk about games You can talk about Bee Swarm, Roblox, general life, artworks, all that good stuff And yeah, I will link it in the description below. It's on discord. It's completely free It's got an amazing staff team which keep everyone safe and stuff and uh, yeah I come on there from time to time and I also want to do a few robux giveaways on the discord server itself so i think like i'm gonna do like a proper announcement and stuff uh when are we gonna do that but i might give the odd one away every now and again but yeah i was kind of thinking if you guys were interested if you've got discord already or if you don't have discord yet um, then I do have my team thanks to your Discord server. If you guys want to come and join, uh, you know, join in with the community, make some more friends, um, you know, just hang out with people, play games, talk about games, all that stuff, uh, then you are very, very welcome to join. I will link it in the description. If you want to come over, that'll be awesome. All right, so let's go and take down this vicious bee quickly here. Um, there we go. We got some... Oh, yeah, there we go. Once again, that's a confirmation of the five times stinger bonus, which I think is like the first vicious bee that you do per day or something. Um, but yeah, so what we want to go and do is we want want to go and head over to the king oh there's something new there oh i see something new i see something new oh my goodness okay 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 so we need to wait for our bear buff <laughs> so we can actually jump up here it was something blue so i obviously want to come here for the king crab and the king crab the coconut crab what is that do you guys see it oh Oh, it's one of those boards. So yeah, we, we discovered this in the last episode, I think, and maybe even the one before that. But basically, every time you use one of the, like, well, we did it with the ticket dispenser. No, no, no. The royal jelly dispenser. It's one of these things. MM. No, maybe that's different. Oh, what is that? This is new. It says MM. I think this... MM? Oh, and I got teleported. No! Oh, yeah, and apparently I was told... Do you guys remember when the Easter event updated and on it added in this kind of weird maze? Apparently, you can actually... Oh, yeah, there we go. Look, I saw some people get in here. I have no idea how they actually got in, but where that weird dude was, he was like the NPC for the overall, like, Roblox event. Um, so he was standing there, but it's now actually been replaced with a star jelly, which is really, really nice. Oh, we got some jelly beans as well. Yeah, there's a star jelly here now. I swear some people got in here. I'm not sure how they did it. Huh. So yeah, whilst I wait for like a, a bear buff here, I'm guessing that the MM thing maybe stands for memory something. I can't quite remember what it stands for, but we have actually played like a little memory game before uh, in the dispensers. So perhaps this is actually uh, just a place that you can do like a daily or an hourly or whatever little memory game. And maybe the stuff you get is just an extra way to get some rewards. Uh, that kind of like feels like it's that. Although that location is really strange. Right, how did they do this? They summon the king. Like, right, okay, I keep calling it the king crab. <laughs> It's the coconut crab. Coconut crabs are real things in the world. And if you Google it, oh my goodness me, it's such a weird looking crab. Um, but yeah, this is basically based off the coconut crab. Um, how do you do this? How do you summon it? Oh, there it is! 
Yes, the coconut crab. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Do you see the attack? That is the maddest thing. So yeah, I've actually got some stats about this dude. Um, oh, get out the circle. Oh, and it would have killed me then. Oh, we missed the attack though. All right, we're going to go back up in just a second. I want to show you guys that again. Um, so yeah, basically he has a couple of different attacks. So he has his first attack, which were those pincers. Now, I thought it was 30 damage, but I'm pretty certain I just saw that it did 40 damage. So I'm not too sure which one is which. I swear it said 40, but I could have been wrong. Uh, but the second attack is it basically throws this massive coconut down on you. So it's kind of like more of an AOE one. And apparently that does a lot more damage, something around 120. Um, so yeah, this guy is level 12. He has 100,000 health and he's basically the coconut mob <laughs> that you can battle. So I guess like we actually saw the, um, the cave in last episode, but we didn't quite know what was in there. But I had loads of people tweet me about this. So just thank you so much for letting me know. And that is the first time that I've ever seen in action the coconut crab. Oh my god, it's so cool. Dude, I want to summon it again. Here he comes! Yes! Oh, it's beautiful, man. <laughs> Isn't that a man? Yeah, 40 damage, see? I've got no armor on or anything like that, so... Well, I've got some boots on, but... Okay, this is the other attack. Wait for the coconut. Are you ready? It's gonna hit me, it's gonna hit me, it's gonna hit me. Boom! <laughs> Alright, that is so cool. So yeah, I just thought in case you hadn't seen that yet, that is the coconut crab. So, so cool. Okay, so now that we've seen the coconut crab, I want to talk aphids. I want to talk serious, serious aphids here because um, it kind of feels like over the past couple of days, well, no, maybe like a day or so, I've had so many tweets about these aphids. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to like pick the ones that I can see here because um, these ones, well, actually, no, I think... I think these are some good ones. These ones have got pictures on, so I thought maybe we could share them because they're kind of interesting. So yeah, in kind of like an order, I guess, of how I actually got them, the first one I got, which is really interesting, was this dude here. This is Vitazoman. Vitazoman? Vitazoman? Oh, I can't say it, sorry. <laughs> We're gonna go, let's just call him V. Um, but yeah, he's actually found in the strawberry field a diamond aphid. Now this was news to me because I've only seen in pictures the green aphids. Um, so basically what it's kind of telling me is that there's going to be different tiers of aphids. Um, I don't think I've seen any other ones apart from the green one and also this diamond one. So I'm going to zoom in and stuff on the screen hopefully so you guys can see this. I also, uh, yeah, a second sighting as well from Sakura. Um, once again, another diamond aphid. So I'm kind of wondering if on it, when he updated the server and put it out in public again, maybe he's testing the diamond aphids now. Which kind of makes me think there's maybe going to be like a gold aphid. Uh, maybe there's going to be like, you know, a silver aphid or something. Maybe it's going to be like tiered. But then again, there's not going to be a bronze aphid, is there? I don't know. I feel like it's going to be a green one, like a middle one, and then maybe a diamond one or a gold one or something. Uh, but yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. And I literally just saw as I was looking for these pictures. <laughs> Apparently, someone says here, Samuel, he says the aphids occasionally come from leaves if you try and collect them. So I thought they came from when you were harvesting sprouts, which is what I want to do here. I just want to hang around on the server for a bit and just mess about with some sprouts as and when they spawn. Um, but if they come from leaves occasionally, then I can definitely just bang on a bunch of leaves and see what happens. Because you never know, right? I don't know myself 100% yet, but... I mean, it would kind of make sense if they came from leaves. But I'm also going to keep my eye on some uh, some sprouts, because I feel like that might be a good place to look. I haven't seen one in-game just yet. It makes me sad. I really want to see one. On it! I may have found a bug! <laughs> I'm stuck between the wall and the gumdrop dispenser! <laughs> Help! Oh, okay, and just another little random thing I, I think I've noticed, unless they're stacking. Oh! Oh, okay, that's interesting. Wait, what? One sunflower seed. 16 sunflower seeds? Wait. Do fields now give you way more... Uh, prizes. Oh, no, they were stacking. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so now in the sidebar, when you collect all of the, like, for example, here, the sunflower seeds, they actually then gave you the total 
of how many you collected. So in that one session, I collected 16. But it made it seem like I was collecting 16 all at once when it wasn't technically true. That's that's so strange. Is it just sunflower seeds? Wait. Okay, I'd need to do another sprout to test that again, but... Oh no, see, it counts them differently then if it's from the leaves. But for some reason when I did it with the sprout, it says here, look, one sunflower seed, one, 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 and then the bottom here it says 16. But I swear it said like 13, 14, 15 as well. That's so strange. <laughs> huh. Okay, actually, it's kind of useful for seeing how many you actually get, so you don't have to add them up manually. Um, huh, okay, interesting. Okay, dude, as well, like, just side note, we did see this, I think, in the first video, but the sparkles which you now get from the uh, the plants and stuff, you know, with the faces, so much better. I mean, obviously, the, the radius is bigger, uh, but it kind of feels like, one, they're easier to collect, and two, you get way more stuff per, um, like enchantment i guess which uh, is actually really cool so one of the things that on it definitely said uh when we did our update videos and stuff i've just seen there's a rare sprout over there so i want to go and try and collect that now uh but yeah he said that he's going to try and make it much easier to gain items quicker basically um i'm just spending all my money on the uh, eggs here so i can actually get to the different zones i know i should probably be upgrading my collectors but hey <laughs> just have an army of terrible bees um yeah it's definitely something that I've noticed is that there's many more options to actually gain. Uh, oh, my basic egg hatched into a deno bee. No way. Yeah, there's way more uh, options to actually get um, different stuff, which I think is really cool. Like, it's less of a grind to grind out those sort of random bits and pieces. Uh, and yeah, I think that's kind of awesome. Right, anyway. <laughs> Let's go and harvest this uh, rare one. This this may take some time, but it kind of gives me the opportunity to basically just click on a bunch of leaves and just see what happens. Oh, oh, yes! Yeah! I got my first aphid! <laughs> it's a green one! So yeah, can confirm. They come from leaves. Oh my goodness, dude! So yeah, it's got a health bar and it's got a timer. So basically... Uh, you've got to defeat it within the time limit. I feel like we might just about do this. This is a level 2 aphid, a green one. So not the strongest one in the world. Yeah! Oh, we only got 10 battle points? Is that it? 10 battle... Oh, I was expecting something way more than that. Oh, actually, to be honest, though, like, if, um... If these aphids are giving, like, higher battle points and stuff, then that would be kind of nice. Especially the diamond one. Uh, the thing is, though, with the battle points, and this is always something that's never quite changed, is that, yeah, there's, like, a battle point leaderboard and all that stuff, but there's never really been anything that you can do with them, other than it's kind of like a leaderboard, I guess. Um, so I kind of understand why it exists, and obviously, the more stuff you take down, the more leaderboard stuff you get, but it would be kind of cool if they did something at some point, I guess. You know, something kind of special. And I feel like maybe if aphids are giving battle points, then it kind of helps towards that. Although having said that, 10 battle points for a green aphid, I feel like they should drop something. Maybe they do, I'm not too sure. But yeah, 10 battle points is basically what, you know, it's just kind of like 10, uh, 10 ladybugs, which are not that difficult to get. And I feel like I could have taken down 10 ladybugs quicker than it's taken me to find that single green aphid. <laughs> But we can confirm! They spawn via leaves. Um, and yeah, I haven't seen any spawn via sprouts. Although having said that, there was a sprout in the field when it spawned. So I don't know if that's a thing or not. I haven't found an aphid in a field that doesn't have a sprout in. But at the same time, they've taken me ages to find anyway. So who knows? But we saw one! We saw a little green one. Oh, it's so cute. I love the aphids. So yeah, that's pretty good, man. I'm so happy we finally found an aphid. I know it was only a green one, and I know it was only level two, but the cool thing is, is that was pretty much like the only level that we could actually take down with this terrible, terrible character. Uh, and yeah, even if we found a diamond aphid, there is no way that we would be able to take it down in the time limit. So at least we got to defeat our very first aphid here in today's video, and... Through the help of you guys taking screenshots and sending them to me. So thank you so much to everyone who's done that. Um, yeah, we can now also confirm that there are diamond aphids uh, spawning as well. So uh, yeah, really, really cool. But today's video was quite simply, I wanted to see the coconut crab in action. Ding! We managed to do that. And we also saw our very first, and we defeated our very first aphid. We found this bad boy in the dandelion field. Level 2 green. Gave us 10 battle points. Not 
anything else, but you know, I feel like maybe the higher level ones will drop better stuff, but I feel like obviously they're going to be much more difficult to take down. But yeah, anyway, there we go. Super happy. So yeah, um, basically, if you do find anything new that pops up, please do, uh, you know, send me a tweet, send me a picture. Uh, if you join my Discord server, um, hopefully you guys uh, want to do that, then, you know, there's a there's a Bee Swarm group in there. You can chat about it. You can find people to play with, all that good stuff. We've got a bunch of, um, of like, private servers and stuff that you can come and join with other members of the community. And yeah, it's good times, man. But anyway, I, unfortunately, that's probably going to be about it for this video. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did... How do I get closer? Hang on, there we go. <laughs> Please remember to poke me in that like button. And if you are not yet subscribed, go for it because we do Roblox stun fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Ranty up!